is going on guys, it's Wav here. Welcome back to some more Jurassic World and holy poop! It must look super really good right now. And uh, I, I think that, I think Beefy knows, I uh, mean, he, he looks like he don't even care. Whatever. <laughs> it looks super good right now, and it should be in 1080p 60 FPS, juicy deliciousness. And uh, let's get out of F5 mode, oh, there you go. Oh man, look at how, oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, this looks great. It, oh, oh, there's a creperoo! Get out! Oh, come on! Uh, yeah. oh, we got him. Uh, there's still no villagers here. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they're dead. They're all dead. Actually, you know, this house here actually has a has all those Tinker's Construct things inside here. Yeah, we didn't even need to loot that one house. Whoops! Whoops! All right. Oh, shut that door. And God, I cannot. I can't get over how how much better it looks right now. It's, it's so good. <laughs> Anyways, let's try not to get distracted by the juicy deliciousness of how it looks right now. And uh, let's let's focus on what we're trying to do. So in episode one, we tried to make ourselves a, uh, a melon farm and we got really, really sidetracked and we just did a bunch of other things instead. So let's go over here. Let's see. What is the status on our melon farm? Pretty much non-existent. <laughs> we still have to put start to put water there. Uh, do we have where is our bucket at? We need to go fill that up with some water. Uh, do we put that? In? Yeah, here it is right here. All right. So we should be able to go to the well real quick, or actually, you know what, we don't even need to do that. We can just grab the water from there and transfer it like so. There we go. God, this water looks like jello with these juicy shaders on. If you guys are wondering if these are like, if this is like a texture pack, this isn't a texture pack. This is a shader pack. It actually makes your game look super cool and adds a bunch of shadows and realism and it. God, it just looks great. Oh man, I can't get over it. Anyways. Uh, do we have our hoe on us? We don't have our hoe on us. Uh, let's go grab that real quick, and let's go till the land for the melons. So, we need to go till the, the middle bits of it. God, oh, there it is. I saw it there at the last second. We need to till the, the middle bits here. There, 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 there. Because this is where the actual melon, like, stock is going to go. And I think we have a pretty good amount of bone meal, so we should be able to bone meal these stocks. Oh, we don't even have enough melons, uh, melon seeds to fill the whole thing. Uh, we should have enough bones to actually bone meal that and get the stocks up pretty large. So yeah, we have eight bones there. And let's go turn that into 24 bone meal. All the sun is setting and it looks great. It looks like something. It looks like some sort of movie or something. I don't know. It just looks great. Look at that sunset. God. And then the moon is going to slowly rise over the horizon. So actually, you know what? Let's just uh, evenly distribute this bone meal here. Instead of, instead of bone mealing one stock, and then another one all the way. Let's just bone meal all these and hopefully they'll all get decently grown here. And I think we should be able to at least get one. I don't know if uh, I don't know if this is a full stock. Should be able to check like this. Uh no, it doesn't it doesn't say whenever you hover over it anymore. Sour about that. Anyways, let's uh let's keep adding some bone meal to these. Oh, look at how dark it is now. Oh, let's put down these torches in this. God, it looks so good with the torches now. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, we should probably till this land as well. Get ourselves some more food. We were running dry on food last time, so we might as well get as much as possible. Uh, Actually, yeah, I'll put up some more torches here. More torches is better because if we didn't have very much lighting, we didn't have very much torches last time, and apparently that's why all the villagers died. They all got zombified, they all got bitten by a zombie, now they're all zombie villagers, and they're all dead. So that's that's not good. We don't want that to happen again. <laughs> all right, so what were we going to do? Oh yeah, we need to go mining some more and actually turn this into some bread. There we go. We need to go mining some more because last time we actually went into the caves and found ourselves a really cool, like, abandoned mine that we didn't find it. Like, we didn't go to it, but we found it on the minimap. So we can definitely go down there and explore that and see what juicy treasures lie within. So let's actually, uh, we have a pretty good amount of, uh, of beef jerky there. And I uh, don't want, don't want him to hear it. <laughs> we have a pretty good amount of that stuff. And, uh, for other food, we have some melons. Not bad at all. Actually, you know what? We can get some more melon seeds to put in that farm. So I think we need, like, two of them, right? So there we go. Ten more melon slices. Let's go throw those two extra ones over here at the farm. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. These stocks are actually getting pretty big. Unfortunately, I didn't keep very many uh, extra bone meal. I just bone mealed everything there. Alright, that should be a good amount of food, right? 24 carrots, a little bit of, uh, you know, and then some melons and bread. And there's some more bread there. I think we're set. We just need to make a... Actually, you know what? Uh, chest plate. No, we can't even do that. Speaking of chest plate, should be able to make ourselves some good armor now. We have a pretty good amount of iron so uh we can't use a chest plate because we're using our backpack so leggings and feet and hat all right so let's go put on all of these upgraded armors there we go 
And there we go, look at that. And I think the leather backpack actually, you know, provides leather armor status armor, so it's not like we're skimping out on some armor there. And uh, speaking of iron, we need to, uh, let's get ourselves some backup pickaxes, because we don't want to run out of pickaxes here. Let's get, uh, let's get three. That sounds like a good number, because iron, it, it's going to run out pretty fast, especially in an abandoned mine when you're literally mining everything you can see. So let's put all this garbage that we're not going to be using up, and I think we're pretty much set. Iron sword's almost broken. You know what? I'm going to make an extra iron sword just in case that one breaks. Because who knows how long we're going to be down there. And, oh, whoops. Oh, <laughs> there you go. And I think, I think we're pretty well set. We have a pretty decent amount of torches. Do we have any extra coal? No, we don't. But, you know what? I'm just going to take all these sticks in case we do come across some coal. Then, then we can turn those sticks and coal into some more torches. So, let's actually head back to that cave over there. And let's, ah, oh man, I don't know, it's probably going to look super dankaroo with these delicious shaders on, so. Oh, creeper, no, oh, 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 we got him, oh, we got that creeper, oh, there's like three creepers right there. Oh, let's get out, let's get out. <gasps> oh, oh, okay, we need to make it like right over there. All right, come on, just run past all the creepers. Uh, there we go, and we're going to run past that one, and, oh, let's just light this area up. I don't know why we didn't place torches here last time. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, torch there, and let's head down and find that abandoned mine. I can see it on the minimap. Yeah, you can definitely see it, like, right there. It's like, yeah, we passed it right there. Yeah, here it is. It's at this level. So we need to head this way, and I'll see you guys once we get there. Alright, we are getting really close to this abandoned mine. So let's see. Oh, when are we, oh, are we, we, we might be, uh, like, one or two blocks above it or below it, so, yeah, we are, like, right on it, but we're not here, so, let's see, let's, let's place a torch down here, and let's dig down a little bit, and hopefully we come across, no, that's not it, it must be above us then, is it, oh, there's dirt, oh, yep, there it is, right there, alright, let's make ourselves a staircase over there, try and get this juicy iron as we're, as we're going up there, oh, yeah, look at this, it's pretty good, not bad. Oh, we did spend a pretty good amount of our iron on our arm and stuff, so this is definitely going to be good whenever it equals out. All right, ooh, rails up there, and already some spider webs. I'm not, not so sure on what to expect here, cave spiders. <gasps> Water and some more fossils, I will take those. I don't know how many we have right now, we have like 17 or something, but we're up to a pretty good number now. Uh, let's throw all of the fossils and stuff inside of our backpack for now. There we go, clear up a little bit of inventory space, and let's fight the current. Oh, there's a zo oh, zombie and a zombie villain. What is that hat he's wearing? He's wearing like a double cactus hat. What's that? And another zombie. Oh, yeah, that's a... Whoa, is that a... That's, that's an old-fashioned dungeon. Oh, oh, look at that. We got the prick hat. Oh, man. I, I don't know if I want that one. That one seems pretty dumb. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's a classic zombie spawner. We need to go in there and get that juicy loot real quick. Come on, zombie. Oh, we got him. Oh, I don't want to break the spawner, because we can always use that in the future. Music discs and a bucket? Eh. Eh. I'm not going to waste my inventory space. What is this? Random call? Oh, it must, have, must be because it's like glitched between an abandoned mine and a dungeon, so that's weird. Alright, let's plug up this water, see if there's any like minerals over here. Uh, there we go. And tin. Yeah, we need tin. I have a little list of, of the ores and stuff that we need to mine in front of us, so we need iron, gold, aluminum, tin, lead, osmium, redstone, uh, lapis, copper, and glowstone, so we're going to need to go to the nether to get some of the stuff we're going to need for the machines, for the dino stuff, for the DNA extractor and whatnot, analyzer, and com combinator, I think is, I think that's another machine. So let's get this coal, we're, we're going to need this, because the first machine we're going to have is, or the first, like, power generating machine, is going to be powered by coal and, like, wood and lava and stuff, so we we want to get as much as this as possible, and I'm pretty sure coal is really efficient at it, much more than wood, so let's get as much as possible, and hopefully our first machine will be able to produce enough power for us to upgrade to a much more, much better, much more efficient machine here in the future. Alright, let's see what- Oh, there's more tin! Oh, God, I hate getting stuck in gobwebs like that. All right, and we also need to upgrade our, our swords and picks and stuff, so in the future, of course, we're going to want to get some hammers. Uh, and I, I even saw a comment saying they want me to make a rapier, so I might make that here, I don't know when, but as soon as we can actually make 
gold casts or aluminum brass casts for stuff we can make ourselves like an iron rapier and upgrade that in the future to other different better ores maybe even go to the nether hopefully get ourselves some good stuff from there and god this zombie is not dying there's a creeper behind him too <gasps> oh die creeper oh no he, ex <laughs> he exploded anyways <laughs> okay oh yeah there's some wood down here too so if we do run out of torches we can always mine some coal and then get some of the get some of the wood above us and uh, actually you know what yeah most of this is already lit up by torches above uh above the mine shaft so i think we're set here so is there anything else oh there's a oh there's a creeper there and i think there's some coal yeah i'll grab that coal all right let's just grab a little bit Ooh, that goes to a second layer yeah this this is a multi-layered abandoned mine we're gonna Hopefully find some better loot. We did find... Yeah, there's a lot of warberry bushes and stuff. We need to add those to our collection. But we did find a pretty good amount of warberry bushes at first. Like, we got like three or four of them. But now, we're, we're going to get a pretty good amount now. We're going to get a really good warberry farm set up. We're going to get, a, I, I guess, a pretty significant amount of ores from our warberry. And we can go throw those into the smeltery. Those can become uh, ingots and stuff in the future. And speaking of ingots, we're going to be grabbing this iron... I thought I just heard a, thought I just heard a creeper behind me. All right, let's grab these fossils. And there's more fossils there. Noise. Let's see. Oh, just stone, bone, and no more cobblestone. God. Let me get those warberry bushes. There we go. Add those to our collection. Huh. Ah, there we go. Actually, you know what? Fought. No. Oh, I thought I saw a fossil up there, but I guess not. Some water, just random water, just sitting there doing nothing. Although we do need that tin. Let's grab that tin. I don't know exactly how much we'll need, but I'm, I'm just going to get a little bit of everything that we have on this list, just so we're set for all the stuff. So, actually, you know, what, now to, now that I think about it, pretty much every ore that we're mining is actually two ores. So if we mine one ore of tin, we're get pretty much getting two ores or two ingots once we throw it into the smelter, you know. But we do need a lot of lava, and I totally disregarded that the blacksmith had some lava at his place. So. We could probably steal some of his lava, you know? Oh, let's get rid of this coal out of this wall. It's, it's going to serve us more purpose than it's doing here, just sitting in a wall doing nothing. And I'm hearing more zombies. I don't know if they're on a mini-map or, like, on the map, like, with another spawn, or... Now, where are these zombies? I don't know if they're, like, above me or what. Let's look at the mini-map. Where is that zombie? There's, like, two of them just, like, in a, in a little... What, where are they? Okay, I am going to dig over here... Let's see, is there is there a zombie spawner over here? Another another dungeon? Let's see. Come on. I hear, I'm here out there right they're like right next to us. Okay, where are these zombies at? Zoom in. Uh, oh yeah, there's like a little cave area inside of here. I'm seeing that little cave area. Should be digging into it. Oh, there it is. Well, this is a little gravel pit. What is that? Ew. Ew. They're like stuck in water and stuff too. And let's grab this iron. God, we're getting a pretty good amount of materials here. I think I went through like two picks already, so I'm glad I made like three, four extra. Actually, I think I made three. What is that hat? That is a, that is a weird hat. I want to get that hat. Oh, there's another zombie down there with a lapis sword. God, this one has steel armor. If we can get that, that'd be dankaroo. Oh, Pyro's top hat. Ooh, it's got like a little firework in it. And oh, yeah, yeah. The zombies must have just been stuck inside this little random water deposit that's just sitting down here. Oh, or berry bushes. We will be taking some of those. Now, ah, oh man, I, I forgot to harvest my orberry bushes. It, it, it's kind of negligible right now. We're, we don't only, we only have like three or so orberry bushes, so it's not like it really matters that we're missing out on like three nuggets of orberries. Well, let's get out of this little cavern and oh, let's, let's go back to that main area that we started out in. We're getting really low on food, too. Like, we haven't even regen from whenever we got attacked earlier. Oh, here's another few hallways. I don't know what to expect here. I'm seeing ores, osmium there, tin, some water here. Let's go back here and grab this tin and osmium. Uh, just one tin ingot right there, really? Really, just one? And let's grab this osmium. We don't really need that much osmium. Just a, eh, a handful, I think, is all we'll really need, but I'm going to grab as much as possible and grab these oreberry bushes, too, for the copper oreberries. Because uh, we do need some of that. We can make some aluminum brass out of it, combine it with some aluminum. And, uh, you know, use that instead of gold for the for the castings for a hammerhead and like a like a shovel or an excavator head, stuff like that. I want to get some of those because we have some really dank tools in End of Earth. And I want to kind of get up to that tier, tier, because that would make mining and getting materials and stuff like that that much easier. And was that now yeah, this aluminum? Yeah, we could use that. Definitely. Definitely use that. 
I, I am used to the Galacticraft aluminum. I keep on thinking that this is salt. I don't know why. <laughs> Let's grab that T-Rex skull looking thing. Oh, another DNA I will grab that. Don't mind if I do. And I, I, I totally forgot that these white ones are also fossil ores. I keep on forgetting about that. And we don't really need that Certus Corsair. And I didn't even pick up this fossil. Ooh, wow, we already filled up our inventory. I will be putting those arrows in there. Putting pretty much everything else up in there. I will take those that beef jerky and round flesh. I'll put that in there. Uh, we already got four fossils. That's actually pretty good right now. Oh, yep, orberry bushes above us. I will be grabbing those. All right, let's keep on exploring this abandoned mine. Hopefully, we come across like a minecart with with some juicy loot inside. But I want to get that. Uh, oh, wow, we're getting really low on torches too. And if you guys are wondering like why I'm even placing the torches, even though it lights it up, it's because I don't want I don't want spookies to spawn behind me and you know touch my butt. So I don't want that that. Is there anything? No, nothing there. Just some glowing surface quartz. And we can always get that later if we want to make like an ME machine or something, but I don't want to make it right now. We are we are working on working towards some other stuff and there is a skeleton. Uh we should zoom in on our minimap. There we go. Hello, bat. Goodbye. Oh wait. I thought I hit you. There you go, bat. Now you're finally dead. Oh skeleton. Oh, oh God, the skeleton's got some good armor. And nothing else. Oh, there's some marble. I thought those were the fossils. But they're not. Is that fog? Oh yeah, that's just fog. I thought it was like a spooky, spooky something in the shadow of the fog. All right, let's see. Let's make ourselves some more torches real quick. Oh wow, we have a lot of coal, a bunch of coal. And then let's make almost two stacks of torches like it's nothing. Gee. And I saw a zombie over there. I'm going this way though. And osmium there, iron. Uh, there's more rails over here. I want, I want, I want to run into like a minecart with a chest. Come on. Or just a random chest sitting on the ground with some juicy, juicy loot inside of it. And more water over there. Eh, I don't know if I want to go that. Eh, I don't know if it's worth it going over there just to plug up that water just to get rid of it. Guys, there's a lot of this, a lot of this marble here. I don't know if I want to use that for like decoration or something. Eh, Osmium. As I was saying before, it's not as important as like iron, gold, stuff like that. But I'll, I'll get it. Ooh, more fossils. I will be grabbing these. And how much are we up to now? I don't know. If we throw these into like an analyte, we're probably going to get a pretty good amount. Uh, nothing over there. I oh, a spider. Oh, this is a great vantage point up here. Let's get rid of that string. And there we go. And let's try and oh, parkour legend. Oh, and grab that orberry bush and kill that poisonous cave spider. Oh, wow. Oh, we were so close to getting bit right there. I am pretty sure. Come on. Oh, there he is. Oh, there. He oh. I am, God, I am poisoned now. I am, gotta get out of here. Actually, is there anything over here? Uh, let's see. Oh, God, what is that string doing? It's like glitching out. It's like I break it and then it appears again. Yeah, this is a dead end here. We need to, we need to go the other way. We need to get around this. Uh, we don't have an axe, so we can just dig through this dirt. There you go. Gravel or uh, diorite. Get rid of that. Actually, you know what? Let's just dig around it all together. There we go. <laughs> is there anything over here? Uh, ooh, I'm hearing a zombie. It must be the zombie we saw earlier. A lot of copper around it. Oh, skeleton. What is that armor he has? Oh, I think we picked it up. Oh, bulldozer chest plate. Oh, wow. That's really tanky. That is really tanky. Okay, let's grab this tin and this copper. There is so much copper. It looks just like a bunch of cheese just all over the place, just in the walls. Let's grab that and let's light up that. Make sure stuff doesn't spawn and try and touch your butt like I said earlier. So there you go. And I think, yeah, oh, we're getting sniped. Oh, let's grab this. Hurry up. Oh, yeah. All right. Where's the skeleton at? I see him on the mini. Oh, there he is. Oh, let's get him. Oh, he was, he was like facing the other way and he still shot us. I don't know how that was possible. And let's grab this last bit of copper. All right. All right. There's like two more skeletons over there. And I see another cave spider spawner on the mini map, judging by those three or four cave spiders that are just hanging out there. Let's get rid of those. Oh, zombie! Oh, that zombie has some really good stuff. Oh, ugh. we need to keep our distance and eat some food so we can actually regen. Come on, he has some really... God, that osmium armor is really dank. Okay, eat that bread. And there's two skelebros down there. We want to stay away from those guys for right now. Just light that up, make sure more of them don't spawn. There we go, more iron. I will be slurping that up. Juicy, juicy, and I'll take that. Okay. What's going on over here? More copper. And it's God, I would have run. Oh, that's a big room of creepers. I'm cre I am staying away from that. 
And we've already been here. Okay. There's some iron on the walls. Let's grab that. How much do we have right now? We had like, I don't know. We spent a pretty good amount of our iron earlier. So let's see. Uh, let's just try and shift all of our stuff up here. For now, make, make as much room as possible. There you go. And a bucket. No, we don't have room for that. Aluminum ore berry bushes. Or ore berries themselves. Let's grab that tin. And we're going to need, yeah, we're going to need a pretty good amount of tin. Because I think, because I want to make some thermal expansion stuff. Like the thermal expansion machinery. Like the like the pulverizer and induction smelter. We need that. We need the induction smelter so we can actually make steel for a, uh, for, oh man, yo. Oh, get out. Oh, God, if he just, if he just, ex come on, just explode. Is he going, are you going to explode or not? Okay, whatever, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to get him with the arrow. Oh, oh, he's, oh, he's, he's, he's nodding his head. He's nodding his head, yes. Oh, there you go, he's dead. I'm hearing zombies out the butt. Yeah, it is, oh, there's a creeper behind me. Oh, what is that hat? Look at that hat. What is that? Yeah, there you go. Ooh, a Swiss Toby. Ooh, I've never seen that before. Now, I am hearing a lot of zombies. I am, there might be, it's, is it really just this one? Oh, wait, there's a lot of zombies, like, over here. Is there a spawner there? I'm, oh, man, I'm pretty sure there's got to be a spawner there. Is it above us or below us? That is the, that is the important question. Let's, let's try and staircase our way up here. And let's go get these fossils while we're at it. God, there's so many. I'm hearing so many of them. Hearing so many zombies. They're like right here, too. So I don't know if they're like. Oh, oh, I thought I just dug into it right there, but I didn't. All right. Is this it? Okay, that's not it. Ugh, ugh, okay. Zoom in here. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're a little bit dark. Okay, yeah, they're under us. Yeah, they're over here. Yeah, they got a little bit darker, or a little bit lighter on the minimap when we went downwards, so they must be around down this direction yeah oh yeah this abandoned mine is like multi-layered too like up and down so this must be like a what is this is this another zombie spotter in the middle of an abandoned mine thing god how's how far deep are these guys god i don't know what now they're like transparent i thought i thought they were like below us where are these guys i don't know oh, wait we're on like the same level now god they, are they like up here are they up here? Have been have they been up here this whole time? Okay, here's this, and then there's that. And we need to go down a little bit, so it's like right here. Oh, where? Oh, oh, that's it. I am done. Oh wait, you can't even get in here. Oh yeah, you're nodding your head. That is that's that's got to be a spawner. Come on, that has got to be a spawner. There's no way that that isn't a spawner. And there's like three, four, five zombies here at the entrance. There you go. And the last one. Come on, glowstone armor. Now what is this? Is this really just a random, just, group of zombies that was just hanging out there, really? That's really what it was. I thought it was something more than that. Uh, a little bit of planteroos, don't really need that right now. God, if we come across, like, a diamond, a diamond, just a single diamond, that would be dank as heck. Oh, get out of here, glowstone armor zombie. God, seriously, how, how, why are there, like, four or five of them that were, like, right there? There's gotta be a spawner around here, if that's the case. All right, let's grab this iron, grab this tin tinaroo, and let's keep our eye on the minimap. Make sure no more zombies try and come by and kill us. There we go. And let's see, what else is over here? Oh, there's that salt again. And if we had like mine cam in here, as uh, we can actually like throw all these rails into the chemical decomposer and get a lot of iron. We've been doing that in End of Earth, so we're getting a ton of iron from that. Uh, not, not specifically rails, but like other stuff, you know? And we've even been synthesizing it in like a fusion chamber, so that's really cool. Nice